Hey, what's going on my Steelers fans? Welcome back to another video. If you enjoy these videos, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. The channel has been growing a lot recently. Gained almost about 100 subs in the past week or so, so I gotta give that all out to you. Again, I'm gonna be announcing my giveaway at about seven o'clock. I'll have a video posted about that. Um, gonna be giving away probably some, some autograph cards depending on how many people uh, we get subbed within the next week. Uh, might be one card, might be two cards, but they will be Steelers rookie cards, um, autographed, I'll tell you that now, but stay tuned for that. I want to get into uh, training camp that started yesterday, um, what's going on with the team, and really the only injury news from the team is that Kevin Dotson, uh, it sounds like he tweaked something, not sure if it's an ankle, knee, whatever it is, but that's all that Tomlin announced was that he tweaked something at practice so he was the only one that missed practice which is a great sign for the Steelers um, that he was the only one of course but nobody listed on the pup list is probably a first going in this in the training camp for the Steelers haven't seen that in a while so happy to hear that nobody is going to be on the pup um, also good news um, obviously Ben with his arm that everybody is so concerned about you know according to the experts Ben has lost his touch he's the worst quarterback in the AFC North he doesn't have it anymore yada yada um, I think Ben's gonna have a great season as long as he stays healthy but that arm is strong and the reason behind that is that he didn't have to throw the ball 10,000 times to get his arm up to speed for for last season um, and that's going to be a big difference going into this year. His arm was tired before the season even started simply because of Tommy John's surgery. Think about pitchers that come back into the MLB after that surgery. They're on a pitch count. They don't, they don't throw the ball seven, eight innings. They get 80 pitches, they're done, if that. You know, and Ben didn't have a throw count. We threw 50 times in a game. It doesn't, it doesn't help him. It didn't help his recovery. But listen, I, I think Ben's arm is probably as strong as it's been in a couple years. Um, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, the guy's 39 years old now entering his 18th season, but I think he's gonna do just fine. So I wouldn't worry much about him. Um, obviously the run game, Najee Harris is looking good, making good cuts in practice. So we'll, we'll see what goes on with him this season. I'm expecting obviously, you know, a lot from him considering we didn't have a run game the past couple years. Um, and especially last year being in last place in runs per game. Najee Harris is uh, going to give us that extra boost that we needed. Um, I'm expecting uh, McFarland to be our, our third down guy, though. Um, I think he's going to be second on the depth chart. I think he's going to jump Benny Snell there as well as Ballage and Jalen Samuels. Of course, we got five running backs on this team. So I expect him to be our number two this year. Um, another guy that they're saying uh, looked good yesterday in practice is Anton Brooks, safety out of Maryland. Um, he was drafted a couple seasons ago, but saying that he looked good, Ben, uh, ben liked the way that he uh, sounded like he got intercepted in practice and, and actually kind of praised him um, for it, which is a good sign. I mean, obviously not a good sign that Ben's throwing picks, but a good sign that a guy that's stepping into Mike Hilton's spot is stepping in the right way so that's that's definitely good to hear about that and also the last news that I've heard is that Kendrick Green is starting at that center position wearing number 53 too so Ben won't get lost this season uh, going under center and uh, not going up to the wrong guy so good thing that 53 is gonna stay in that center spot but sounds like you know as of right now Kendrick Green is going to be the starter at the Hall of Fame game against the Cowboys so that's the news I have for everybody right now. Obviously, if anything happens, I will address that. And again, as always, if you made it to this far into the video, got a comment. Here we go, Steelers. And again, please look out for the video tonight at 7 o'clock. I'm going to be dropping it uh, for the giveaway. So what we're going to do is as many comments as there is, wherever your comment lands, I'm going to be, you know, randomizing that number comment. And... Um, Again, put that in a randomizer, and whoever gets that, you know, is going to win the card that, you know, whatever spot. And again, if we get to 400 subscribers, I'm going to throw in another card in there too in that giveaway. So I'm going to let it run for a week and uh, get more and more people to comment and subscribe. So 
Thank you all for watching the video. And as always, here we go, Steelers.